Carl, how are you doing? Hey, good. How are you? Pretty good. Okay, you get to just go up against Bruce Willis. Like, yeah. And you're not holding back, it looks like. Neither of us are holding back. Really? It was, yeah, we wanted to put something up there that was um, that was brutal. Yeah. Know, something that had an impact that wasn't, you know, overly stylized. And I think we succeeded. Definitely. It looks real. It looks like you guys took some uh, bruises and cuts from that thing. Blood was drawn. Was it? No, I'm serious. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, we went for it. Well, now you've done action movies before, so what separates this from what you've had to play before? Well, that's really in tone is a lot more uh, comedic in many ways than a straight action film. This is a hilariously funny film. I think it would be a great date film. Really? Oh, I do. I do. Well, it's got a love story. It's got a couple of love stories okay. in it. Um, you know, and uh, it's funny. Is it? Because, you know, the trailers don't really capitalize on the funny part. They show the action. So it's really funny. It's really funny. It's a good comedy action, action comedy. Yeah. Okay. Judge Dredd, it's not going to be the same as the original? Uh, Judge Dredd is n in no way, shape, or form, the section called Dredd, in no way, shape, or form related to any other movie that's that's been. Yeah. Um, I can say no gold cod pieces in this movie. Yeah. yeah. You looking forward to it? Sorry if you wanted them. <laughs> it won't be there. They're not going to happen. Huh. Okay, I'm a huge Dexter freak. Okay, and Dexter after freak. last season, I thought there was absolutely no way they're going to top that season with anything. Do you think they topped it this year? Uh, I don't know if topped is the right word, but I okay. hope we, hopefully we're following it up and, and, and uh, you know, continuing to, to develop and progress. You know, it's, uh, it, that's what it's about. It's about De Dexter's progression. Yeah. It's about Dexter's becoming, and, and, and he's becoming and progressing more and more with each season. Yeah. So, uh, in that sense, uh, yeah, we're moving right along. Did, you know, when you first see a script that's about a serial killer, did you think it would last all these seasons? That it would have the following it has? I can barely go past the day. <laughs> I never think that, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, gosh, I try to be in the moment. If I start thinking seven, eight, nine seasons, I'm in trouble. Okay, so tell me about working on the set with all these fabulous big names. Well, it's a, a pretty remarkable experience. I've managed to work with a, a lot of, you know, A-list talent over the years, but never a film that had this concentration of them all in one place at one time. Yeah. I said to Bruce the very first day I showed up on set, it's sort of like um, being called up from the minors to play with the Yankees. Everybody's an all-star. And you step out on the field and kind of think, wow, okay, I'm going to have to up my game to play with these people. And did you ever in your mind picture Helen as an action woman? Uh, no, uh, you know, I've always, there's always been a grit and an intensity to her, certainly from some of her prime suspect work in uh, the English television series, yeah, yeah. solid, deep actor, um, so I knew she was capable of it, but it's something to behold to watch her firing an MP5 machine gun. Oh, yeah. It definitely is. You've got The Thing, too, right? Yes, the uh, prequel to The Thing comes out the end of March. Okay, it's a prequel. Why are they calling it The Thing? I think they tossed around a number of ideas about how they could keep the name The Thing, which is obviously marketable because right. it ties into the other film, but have it be some other, like the thing arrival or the thing beginning and nothing really stuck. So at this point in time it's just called The Thing okay. and I hope that people um, recognize that that's an, you know, an homage more than a, um, a rip-off because this film is really solidly trying to be up to that standard of John Carpenter's film. But I've heard that you actually don't have to have seen The Thing to get the prequel, to understand the story in the prequel, right? You're absolutely right, okay. yeah. Because this, this, if you are a fan of The Thing, you will see all the ways in which our film hints at details that are covered in Carpenter's movie. If you've never seen that film, this film will serve as a standalone um, that will be a thoroughly entertaining on its own basis. How are you doing? Yeah. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Okay, I've seen the movie now. Okay, is I, it fun? It was fun. Okay, I don't even think the trailers totally capture how much fun this is. Well, it's a hard thing to do, you know, yeah. every time you bring it down short, it's, um, and this is very much an audience experience movie, yeah. and I think that's a very difficult thing to capture. There's an infectiousness to the comedy in this movie. Well, and a lot of people might be scared by the fact they've never heard of the graphic novel it was based on, but you don't have to have a background in that, right? No, not at all. Okay. I mean, the graphic novel is really about the character, and, and uh, we sort of take up at the end of the graphic novel, it's like, what would he be like if he actually got a life? Okay. So he, in that graphic novel, he lives a very small, uh, uh, sad and kind of depressed life. And okay. he's an angry guy. In this movie, he comes to life. I want to know how you guys got this cast. We're not quite sure ourselves, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know what happened was it, we had a really good script and very distinct characters. And... Um, 
after the first two or three people, there was sort of a critical mass, and other actors were like, well, yeah. I want to be in that movie. Yeah. So and so and so and so, and so it kept getting bigger and bigger. And Helen, I mean, we don't picture her as kick-ass action woman. You know, it's funny, is we, we kept saying to ourselves, wouldn't it be great if we could talk Helen Mirren into shooting a 50 caliber machine gun? Oh, yeah. She'll never say yes to this. Let's try. Okay. So we gave it a shot, and she immediately responded to the role. I'm sure she's going to do more action after this. She had fun with it. Yeah. She definitely did. Okay, can you confirm the title of Transformers 3? Is it I Dark of the Moon? <laughs> and, and is it going to be confused with Dark Side of the Moon? <laughs> well, you know, we all love the Dark Side of the Moon. It was yeah. a great album, and yeah. I cannot confirm any title. <laughs>